Hi, this is Dr. B from Scooter B Rocks, Nampa, Idaho. We're looking today at some Reynolds Creek breccia. And uh, we have two forms here. This one is a dark burgundy with some black and uh, just some nice little pock marks in it. And this one here is kind of a terracotta finish. And you can see on the terracotta finish that there's some veining and uh, some nice markings to that as well. This can be found past Nampa, about 20 miles, about five miles past Melba. And it is in the Reynolds Creek Recreation Area. You go to the recreation area, go to the top of the road, turn to the right, and you'll find some small fields of these at that place. And most of them are fairly small, just like this. What's really interesting, though, about this is that there was a fire, a major range fire, through the Owyhee Mountain Range. And some of these, when it's chipped, you can see that inside this is turned to uh, sort of an agate material. Uh, and so these are all on the edge, this breach is all on the edge of uh, being jasper or agate. And uh, these tumble. You can take these and trim them up with a uh, tile pincher and uh, tumble them. And I've taken a few of them and uh, uh, cut them down to use on bolos and uh, with some uh, paddle bales and other things like that. That's a really pretty stone, very attractive. Uh, this one has some coating on it, uh, some acrylic coating. You can see the shiny finish on it there. And this one here is natural. You can see there's a really nice matte finish to that one there. And I like all the uh, black inclusions there as well, too. A uh, really pretty color. So um, you could pick a lot of these up there. There's a few large ones, and there's some small ones. Now, there's some fields where um, these small ones can be found. And, and uh, I guess it's kind of uh, some sites where you can pick up quite a few rather quickly. Uh, the rest are scattered in the fields at the top of that area. And there's a few large pieces, about six inches by six inches, that can be dug up. It's well worth your time. Also, on your way to the top, <clears throat> going to Reynolds Creek, if you look off to the side where the road is cut, and if there's been some rain the last few days, some of the road material on the cut will fall down and we'll expose some of these and they just stand out quite brightly, this uh, red against all the other dirt and rock material that's up there. So uh, they're easy to find after uh, a rain where some of the materials move down. Actually, one of the most common areas of uh, rock hounding to find things is through these uh, side cuts on the road. Uh, so don't skip that. Uh, you're not cheating by doing that. Also, when you're up there, you'll notice that off to the right of this area where you find these, um, there's a large hillside there, and you'll see lots of white stakes. Uh, those are mining claims for Owyhee jasper and uh, agate in the area. It's quite famous. There's some famous mines up in there. Uh, you can look around, but uh, you're prohibited in those areas from picking much of the stuff up. They may belong... The claims may belong to some rock clubs where they're not going to be uh, uh, irritated with you. But if you do get on somebody's private claim and you pick something up, you are uh, breaking the law and uh, they have the right to the material there. So just be a little careful. And uh, let's see, there are some various roads that go off and are kind of fun to explore. There's some different uh, agate and jasper material around there. One thing you want to be careful of is that uh, some lower ATV tracks... Uh, heading out of the area are covered with pea gravel and uh, I almost got stuck in the pea gravel one time with uh, four-wheel drive so go out the same way you came in but it's a nice little drive up there. The drive from Nampa is uh, about uh, 35 minutes very quick and um, 
to find Reynolds Creek. Uh, it's easy to find uh, just on the map. Um, another option once you're up in that area is to drive over into Reynolds Creek Valley and there are a few uh, jasper and agate sites up in that area and uh, if you have a little bit more time a nice complete drive is to go back through uh, the pioneer town and museum of murphy idaho so hope you enjoyed this and uh, i really like picking up this little rock it's a lot of fun it's uh, interesting to pick up and uh, it's not too hard to do you know you can get uh, maybe uh, a gallon of material like this uh, in an hour. Uh, it's a good place to take uh, some folks. Now, I don't think a lot of people know that uh, this particular stone is up in that area. One uh, rock shop guy has told me that this is uh, Breacha, heading into a Jasper Breacha. So I actually didn't know that there's two types. But uh, this should be pretty interesting here with the agate showing up. What happened was there was a severe scorching fire four years ago in the Waihi Mountains, and it was so fierce and so rapid that, and the temperatures were so hot that uh, stuff on the material, uh, stuff on the surface material, actually melted. So, and that's what happened to this, and it is heated and turning to glass. Thanks. Join us for other videos here. We'll be talking later. Thank you. Bye.